Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forrest Falcon. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden Weekly. It starts to rain this afternoon. It seems that the rain will continue until tomorrow. Well, nothing to do but wait. What did people do today? Yeah, that sounds about right. A lot of eating at Aya. Oh, dang it, I didn't spend time check with the kids, so I can't hang out with the fox. Gosh dang it. Well, you know what? Seeing as we just don't really have too much to do today since we can't finish the quest because it's raining and we just learned our hyperspeed reading, how about we start putting that to use? So what is it that we... Let me just check. What stats do we want to focus on next? So if we look, we, we've finished with expression. So next up... I don't know if we need much knowledge. Honestly, do we really need to worry too much about stats? Maybe we focus on something else instead. Let me just see which books we actually have that could be really good. Oh, right. We, we didn't even finish hyperspeed reading. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, so how about we actually focus on finishing the hyperspeed so then we can go sonic speed and then we can really take advantage of it. Also nice that we get a little knowledge boost in there. Yep. Oh, we can still work as a janitor. But we can also spend time with Nanako. Hey, Nanako. It's raining. Um, yes? She doesn't look like she's doing anything. We have Angel. Seems like the perfect time. Yeah. She looks happy. Yeah, so perfect way to start off. More time with Nanako. I'm home. I'm home. Oh, welcome, home. welcome back. Uh, Dad. Dad? Sorry. Later, Nanako. But this paper. Scheduled scheduling of parent-teacher interviews. A survey, Man. huh? Fine. It's fine. The voice of someone that is definitely not saying it's fine. It's fine, okay? You don't have to write anything. You don't have to come. It's just another case to you, right? It's more work, isn't it? Bad people and everyone else are more important to you than me, huh? You're not real. You're not my real dad. Damn. Hey. Nanako, wait! <sighs> What's gone into her? Uh, let's go look for her. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Now's not the time to stand around asking questions. Not strongly. I'll go check Junin's. Forrest, you look around the shopping district. I'm counting, I'm counting on, on you. You need to find Nanako. Especially considering this is a rainy day on top of it. Well, thankfully, it seems like the rain broke up for uh, just this cutscene, so... Central Shopping District. You don't see Nanako in the emptily quiet shopping district. Hey! Oh, wow. I ran into Dujima-san at Junas, and he told me what happened. Sheesh. You could've just asked. We got a call from Yosuke-kun. I'm sure if we all look, we'll find her. Hey, do you know what kind of place she might have gone? A place where Nanako would go. You recall that Nanako said her family used to go to Samagawa when her mother was still alive. You told your friends about Samagawa. Hmm. Samagawa? All right, Forrest, you head straight there. That's our best bet. The rest of us will split up and look around. If anyone finds anything, give the others a ring, okay? Forrest, did you find Nautico? Damn. Damn it. Where? Nautico! Nautico! <laughs> Could you talk to her? Not a real father, huh? 
Please. Please. You should go pick her up. She'll listen to you. Why, though? You're the family she trusts most right now. As long as Nanako is okay, I'm fine. Please. Hey, bro! Let's go home. Yeah. She looks like she's about to cry. You to told Nanako that her father was the one who found her. He was looking for me? Did Dad say anything about the river? Did he forget about Mom? He never talks about her. I want to see Mom. Nanako is struggling not to cry. Through Nanako's fierce resolve, you feel that your relationship with her has grown deeper. And some of these episodes, we just start with some of the harder ones to go through, don't we? Some of those social links, you know, really just have to hit you there. Dad must have forgotten Mom. There aren't any pictures of her at home. He probably threw them all away. Is he going to throw me away, too? He hasn't forgotten. I'm going home. Let's go home together. You called your friends and told them that Nanako was safe. You returned home with Nanako. Okay, well, we're here at the day where the deadline would be uh, happening, so won't be too much to do during this day. Uh, yeah, some people still went to the movies. Since we have the book, I think l let's just get it out of the way and finish hyperspeed reading right now, then that just gives us it as an option for any other time we want to do this. So in a method so greatly has been all kinds of books. You read your book as the rain splattered against the wind. Okay, that's why we're getting the knowledge, because we also have the rain bonus. You'll be able to read more in the same amount of time. You will now be able to read two chapters in a book each time you sit down with it. If you have any books that you haven't read yet, try going back to them. So yeah, now reading just became a heck of a lot easier. We have a whole bunch of ones that'll give us boosts for just a single reading session. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Seems the fog will set in tonight. You've gotten used to it at this point. Well... Okay, it's, it's good you're at least still... You're, you're using the quiz show to help uh, deal with um, all the emotional pain that you're going through right now, Nanako. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get through your social link. We'll get to points where you'll hopefully be feeling a lot better. We won't let you just uh, linger in kind of the more uh, sad section. Unless we hit a part of the game where there's going to be a million different uh, events that are going to take all the possible time we could be spending with Nanako. Fog is set in. And nothing's going to show up. No one has appeared on the Midnight Channel. You wonder what happened to Mitsuo Kubo after the police took him away. It's, it's been a while. Do, 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 do. Fog is covering the town. Uh. Yep, don't see anyone. Well, you wouldn't expect there to be anyone at this point, considering that the murderer is in custody. What should you do today? Okay, so now that, uh... We're finished with that. Uh, oh yeah, schedule. Not gonna worry about that. 
Vegetables. Must harvest them. Let's go, Nandiko. Time to whip these vegetables into shape. They look yummy. We got veggies. Veggies acquired. Scapegoat eggplant. Now, what are we gonna plant this time? I think more barrier corn. Nanako really is a superhero when it comes to this garden, considering that basically all the work we do with it is just the initial planting and the initial harvesting. Everything else is on her. So that means all these other days that we don't do anything, she's the one who's busy growing that garden to the size it becomes. Let me just check really quick. Any personas to check? We still got the Emperor. I guess one thing I should do, uh, first of all, is we want to go to the floodplain because there's the kid here, right? Sticker, everyone knew about it, but he did make friends. I talked to them every day time I got a new sticker. And they just kind of became my friends. It's thanks to you. Oh, and also the fox. I wrote my wish at the shrine. They said a fox grants wishes there. I'll go say thanks to the fox later. You successfully completed the request. Yay, we actually helped a kid get friends. One of the hardest tasks. Bugs! So last episode I talked about how I wanted to focus on Kanji and Risei. And while we did spend one time with Kanji, it was only yeah. the one time that we actually leveled him up, as opposed to Risei who got three levels up in hers. Yeah, so Kanji, let's spend some yeah. time, boost you up to the next rank. We want to get you up to about rank 5 at least, I think. Overlooking town, Kanji took you here. <laughs> I've always liked this place. Being able to see my house and school and everything from up here makes me feel small. Uh, what? What? You met Ma at the hospital. Did she say anything about me? Um, plenty. She, she couldn't stop talking about you. That's so. That's what I thought. Well, you already know everything about me. I got nothing to hide. Kanji has an embarrassed smile on his face. Wish I could quit being afraid of hospitals. I gotta get stronger. Huh? A kid. He was with Ma at the hospital. Yo, kid, what are you doing here by yourself? Um, nothing. And how come you look like you're going to cry? I had lost a doll. I lost a knit rabbit doll that Sanachan let me borrow. Takakun said it was girly and stomped on it. Got all dirty, and then he said, If you're a man, then throw it away. I threw the doll in the river, and it got washed away. Ah! What should I do? I have to give it back to Sana-chan. She liked that bunny, and I... I... So why are you here? You ran away? Uh, you dumb kid. This is going well. Come on, don't just stand there. Senpai. Oh. I'm gonna go now. Uh, I'll go with you. Huh? What the hell? Really? His eyes are wide open. Wow, he did not hesitate to walk straight into the middle of the river. Kanji, hopefully you took your phone and stuff out of your pockets and didn't just... Because that water is right up to your waist. Kanji is looking in the river. I'll help. You shut up. Stay where you are so you don't get in the way. Senpai, make sure he doesn't come in after me. Whoa, this is cold. Despite his efforts, Kanji was unable to find the bunny doll. I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize to Sana-chan. Even if she's mad, I'll say I'm sorry. 
Uh, yeah, well, if you do find the rabbit, make sure you give it to her. Yo, hold up. What kind of rabbit was it? Spill it. Just tell me. All right, I got it. You apologize to the Sada child, you're the one who threw it away. It might not be the same, but I'll get you a new one. So let it let me go with that. Mister. Who are you calling Mister? Jeez, I'm still in high school. This is the prime of my youth. Do I really look that old? Maybe it's the eyebrows. Oh anyway, sorry about dragging you into this. Uh, you're giving him a new one? Uh. <laughs> so you heard me, huh? Seems really embarrassed. It was like I understood how he felt. Wanting to be accepted, afraid of being left out, doing stuff that you shouldn't. Then taking the one person you shouldn't make cry and making him bawl. So, you know, I thought maybe I could help him. Was I going too easy on him? Kanji has an embarrassed smile on his face. You feel you understand Kanji a bit more. You know, I get the feeling this will be good for you, Kanji, as well as the kid. Anyway, we get a power-up. Masukunda! But you can't learn any more skills. Decrease all foes hit slash evasion rate for three turns. Okay, regenerate one is good to have. I kind of still like this for electric attacks. Mm, I actually really like that. Bonus damage to foes that are down. Increase one ally's defense for three turns. I'm probably not going to make use of that. So we have kill rush and we have cruel attack. I feel like this is the one to get rid of. I just don't see myself really using it. Did I make use of that in the fight? Like, there's no way that it's like, this was the one that I was using in the fight, was it? Like, if it was Marakukaja, uh, Ma maybe? But just Rakukaja? Yeah, I feel like there are better options for me than that. Like, Zionga and Mazio, I feel like both are good. One is AoE, one is just... Kill Rush versus Cruel Attack. I've mainly been using Cruel Attack. Do I just get rid of Kill Rush right now? Like, Kill Rush isn't going to be, like, one of those skills where it's like, oh, it's super good to have in the late game if you just hold on to it long. Just because it's then it's like, oh, you're getting three attacks sometimes, which is huge. That's the main thing I'm problem I'm having deciding this. You know what? Screw it. We're committing to the cruel attack route. Oh, we're getting Mazio soon. Maybe I should have just got rid of Mazio. Uh huh. I feel like sneezing, but it won't come out. This sucks. Looks like I'm catching a cold. I better head home. We parted with Later. Kanji and went home. Thankfully, it's pretty hot uh, in summer, so I think you'll dry out just fine, Kanji. Wow, what a great spread. I've never seen so many pieces of fatty tuna. Well, if you're going to have a celebration, you can't do it halfway. Celebration? Ah, it's about this. Watch. I didn't care who it was. I was pissed off. I wanted to be famous. The suspect was often heard saying these things. The young suspect has confessed to being the culprit behind the recent cases, but he's shown no remorse so far. Because of several inconsistencies in the boy's deposition, some have called for a mental examination to be carried out. Until then, the police will be continuing their investigation to shed light on all the prior incidents. It was actually really tough to make a case out of this. All we had was the suspect's confession and some circumstantial evidence. But the lab found the perp's prints on the victim's clothes, so we made it stick after all. Man, isn't crime scene investigation something? Who would have thought you could get viable prints from cloth? 
There's no more scary stuff to worry about. You're safe now. Uh-huh. Man, that guy was twisted. A high schooler committing multiple murders and leaving the bodies like that. He was over the edge. Good thing we caught him. Now I can stop seeing suspects in every shadow. If the killer was still on the loose. Enough, Adachi. If you keep running your mouth, the sushi's gonna dry up. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Come on, everyone. Eat up. Well, since you asked... Huh? You don't like sushi, Nanako-chan? There's wasabi in it. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell him to hold the wasabi. Here, I'll take it off for you. Which one do you want, hmm? How a bit. Excellent taste, Nanako-chan. As for me, I'll go for sea urchin. Hey, there's only one of those. Too late. First come, first serve. It's been a while since dinner has been this lively. Yeah, first time in forever where Dojima hasn't been run ragged by the case going on. Mitsuo confessed his crime and was apprehended. You wondered, you wonder if the incidents will end now. I mean, it, it took a long time for that confession to come out. In spite of the fact that it's basically like two seconds after we asked him, it's like, yeah, I did it. The summer festival will begin soon. Phone call. What's up? Hey, Chie. He ran to Yosuke at Junez. He said he was really to buy him because he didn't have enough employees working at Junez. He's probably going to come to you and beg for you to rescue him. He'll be all, you got to save me from this chaos forest. I feel kind of sorry for him, so I'm going to help out this week. You're welcome too. Chie hung up. Maybe you should help out at Junez too. Can I just turn off my phone and not? Can we not? Realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Spent with Kanji and Rise. Anyone else? Hmm. Okay, Tanaka, what do you got? Here comes Tanaka. Hello, grant of your desires. We have this wooden bat. It's a very high quality bat. Longevity pills or a wooden bat? And then some rice and purifying water. Wooden bat. Yeah, it's not a golf club, but I could definitely see myself wielding a bat. Like, maybe if we're lucky, it'll be the home run bat. Can do some real damage to enemies then. Sales over. See you next time. You turn off the TV. Okay, Nanako, you're doing well. Excellent. Then we shall go out. Um, so it's Sunday today. Hmm. So the thing I was thinking is that we could hang out with Kanji. But I think it would also be good if we could hang out with Yosuke. But it doesn't look like he's available today. So in that case, we'll probably go with Kanji. But first, I need to feed the cat. You give the cat, cat's happy, we can feed it again sometime. Also, you know what, since we're, since we've got the time, let's try playing the crane game a bit. We gotta win that Jack Frost doll, obviously. Weren't able to get it. After all, who knows when we might be able to get this Jack Frost doll if we don't get it now. It could just disappear into the ether. We can't have that. We need the Jack Frost, Frost doll. Come on. Still going. Four times. Maybe. Nope. Five. It's fine. I've got all the money in the world. We got an ice cube. But we did not get the Jack Frost doll. But we're better at it. So maybe we'll get it next time. Uh, yeah, like something you might wear at a wedding. I don't believe we've actually really made use of our time in here. 
Viva la fashion revolution! Welcome to Crocofur! I'm Rika Osa, charismatic fashionista. Crocofur has a wide selection of clothing for ladies and men. Fashion is passion, now let's start a revolution! Please consult me if you'd like some tips on coordinating a fashionable look. By the way, you've caught my eye. I must say, you're a rare bird. Your cool exterior sh doesn't completely hide your surging manliness. My fashion radar is ping ping pinging, comrade. Just for you, I'll make an exception and personally coordinate some charismatic ensembles for you. I'd like to introduce you to a new arrival. Ladies across the country have been waiting for this. The butler set has finally arrived. Girls will swoon over the formal English butler look. Styles to die for. I'm Rika Osa, charismatic fashionista. Excuse me, are you perhaps looking, searching for the cleaning uniform? You really just don't stop talking. And why are you reading my thoughts like that? This cleaning uniform would look perfect on you. I can't recommend it enough. Please buy it. Styles to die for. I'm Rika Osa, charismatic fashionista. I will say this as many times as I need to to get it across. Okay, so your name is Rika Osa. I will try and remember that. You can only be equipped by this specific person. But if you get a set, I think that means you get it for everyone, is what it says. So if we go here, we got butler set, agent set. And this is like swimming trunks. You know, we have the money. Give me everything. Uh, no, I will do the equip equipping when I want to. No, I just want it on hand. Yes? Nope. And also swimsuit. I'm assuming that's what this is. Perfect. Nice. So, and Yosuke, he has summer trunks. And Kanji, you don't have anything. What? What's the deal with that? Game doesn't want me to have you in a speedo. Is that it? And this is a kimono. Well, we obviously need Yukiko to have her kimono. Yeah, you know what, Yukiko? You are wearing a kimono from now on. That, that seems perfect for you. Yosuke, we'll buy you a swimsuit. But we aren't going to equip that. And we'll save our money for now, because... Name is like, we know... We know that this is like the fan service options that you would be after, and I'm just like, no, I'm going to save my money. I might want to buy a Persona with that stuff. Was this what you wanted? No, I guess, I guess that isn't an option yet, or it might just, I think it's something we actually have to find in the, uh, in the TV world. Like, I think she also said which one it shows up in, so I'll have to make sure I keep that in mind when I do an actual grinding session in the TV world. Bugs! Okay, Kanji, so Yosuke isn't available, so yeah. we're going to spend more time together. Sounds good. Yeah! He's happy. The hill overlooking town. Seems Kanji called the boy here. Here's the stuff I promised you. No complaining, huh? okay? Kanji handed the boy what appeared to be a bunny doll. It's complete with clothes, a ribbon, a hat, and an umbrella. It's very elaborate. Whoa! This is incredible! Where'd you buy it? Huh? Who cares? But I want one too! Oh, well, I got one for you. Kanji handed the boy another bunny. It's complete with clothes, shoes, a cap, and a soccer ball. It's very elaborate. Kanji just was on a roll when he did it, just ended up making more than one. Probably has a collection of them. For me? Thanks! But where'd you buy it? Uh... Do we just want to out him here? Uh, this old man here made it. God! What are you telling him for? You made this? You got a problem with that? If you think it's so creepy, then give it... 
Wow, you're so cool. Hey, can you make me something else? Mom loves this kind of stuff. Huh? Uh, sure. You promised. I'm gonna go give this to Sonachan. Thanks, mister. I'm not that old, damn it. <laughs> he said I'm cool. It was pretty amazing or don't get cocky. I'm gonna just just challenge him a bit. <laughs> well, what does he know? He's just a kid. Despite his words, Kanji looks happy. But you know, it ain't a bad feeling. Thanks, huh? Uh, it was nothing. Kanji with his embarrassed smile looks more mature than usual. Feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Yeah, just need the next generation to help make Kanji a bit feel a bit better about his own insecurities. He can now cure several ailments during battle. Excellent. This is a great place, huh? The wind is different up here. Never noticed before. He talked with Kanji for a while and started back home. Evening. You're back. Yep, that's right. And we probably should, we could also make some progress with Dojima. Like, where are we on his social link? I feel like it's been a while. Okay, he's rank six. So, decent progress. The thing is, I kind of wanted to also focus on boosting Ri, since I was like, oh, I'm not going to use the daytime social links with her, so... How often am I going to have to spend with Dojima, right? Hmm. Hmm. Do we have a, the right personas, though? Emperor, Priestess, Devil, Chariot, Magician. Okay, we do. So in that case, Dojima, probably good. I heard you got top marks on that last exam. Keep up your studies while taking care of Nanako, too. You're one hard worker, aren't you? I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. Here you go. A big tip. Uh, don't spend it all in. Ah, you can use it however you like. 40,000 yen. Yeah, glad. Probably a good thing I talked to him, at least to get that extra bonus. Hey. So, yeah, let's hang out. Is that bored? Well, have a seat. He sighs, but he looks a bit happy. Talk with Dojima about various things. I'm going to sleep. Uh. Oh, is this late already? Night. What? Yeah. You said you would read me a book before bed. Yeah, given what just happened, I mean, I think it's for only fair that you do that this time. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. I got it. I got it. Just a few pages. Yay! Yay! Hold on. Dojima here. Ichihari-san. Yes, yes, then that means... Well, it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. I understand. Goodbye. Dad, are you leaving? It's my job. But you said you'd read me a book. I can do that anytime. Wins any time. Well, smiling Riley. Are you two fighting? You can go, Dad. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? It's okay. I promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Yeah. yeah. Nanako went to her room with Dojima. Like, thank gosh, it would have been a problem if it's just, like, after that last Nanako social, like, this is, like, just another time of where it's just immediately after he's just like, Nope! I, sorry, Nanako, not gonna spend time with you. Gonna 
put it, put you off again. Man, she made me read the whole thing. Let's talk. The phone call was from Ichihari-san, my former senpai. I'm having him run tests for Sh Chisha Ugh. Chisato's hidden run investigation. He was calling to tell me that the test results are in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the test results, but... Looks severely disheartened. It was a white sedan. Most likely large and American. As expected, no such car is registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car's out of the country by now. Scares me. But I couldn't catch the perp. I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako, every time I notice the way she looks like her mother, I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality. It scares me. <laughs> never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Dojima confided in you. You feel you understand Dojima more. It's all about trying to get that closure right. I know. I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I need to face myself. You sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. On to Monday. Is this going to be when... Is this going to be when Yosuke is going to call us in? That, that sounds about right. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's Yosuke. Sorry for dropping this on you all of a sudden, but I need a big favor. Can you work at Junez from today till Friday? We're short on staff. I'll pay you more than we usually pay our workers. I'll buy you lunch every day at work too, I promise. Please, I'm begging you. Yosuke seems desperate. Sure, sounds good, Yosuke. And um, I'm just going to take a guess that this there will probably be a time jump in here. So I think I might want to end the episode here. Just just on the off chance. So, um, yeah, shorter episode this time. Thanks to Yosuke um, desperately wanting us to help out. But, yeah, next time, um, we might be at the festival, I think, now that I think about it. We're, we're either at the beach trip or the festival. Either way, it's like we're now at the point in summer where we sort of have some of the more fun events. So that'll be happening uh, next time. So thank you all so much for watching. And may you soar like the amazing Falcons you are and have a wonderful day. Peace out. Sure, Yosuke, let's do this. Right. Oh, sweet. You're awesome, buddy. A real lifesaver. I'll be waiting for you, Juna, so I'll see you soon. Yosuke hung up. You decided to work at Juna's until Friday. Do, 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 do. For some reason, Teddy it, is the mascot, is working concessions. Why are there so many people just for the hero show? This is so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if you weren't here, Forrest. Welcome! We've got shaved ice here with all your favorite flavors. Cheer on the heroes while enjoying the tasty snack of frosty shaved ice. Ugh, it gets so hot today. Teddy is keeping up a good pace. You helped Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. You became closer to everyone. Unfortunately, that's not going to do anything considering Yosuke was basically ready to level up already. Oh yeah, good news! All us girls have our scooter licenses now. We're still getting the hang of riding them, but a little more practice and we'll be good to go. But we need to finish helping out here first. Let's pick up the pace. You worked hard at Juna's. So again, you sort of like the amazing Falcons you are and have a wonderful day. Peace out.